Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Tosin here. Today I'll be going over the new product that just launched and is the new Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. It's it right here and it's recently just launched and um, I had to order mine online. Huda Beauty came out with 30 shade foundations. Um, it's a really good for a good start. And also she has a lot of shades, especially women of color. We find it hard to find uh, foundation shades that matches our skin tone. This is the first time I'll be testing this product out. This is a first impression. I have not tested this out yet. I have no warning on my face. And I'll be going ahead and test this out and show you guys um, how it works on my skin and how it looks on my skin also. This foundation I heard is quite matte and also it's really great for oily skin and it's a 12 hour wear which is amazing. This is a foundation that I need in my collection and I'm so happy to finally get my hands on it and I'll be reviewing this foundation for you guys. And also, the foundation comes in a nice plastic bottle, as you can see here. It's a really nice packaging and everything. It's, it's pretty good and it comes with a pump. Shade is cinnamon and um, I feel that it goes with it. I mean, compare, I'm just going ahead with what I found online as far as the color match list that she posted on her website, hudabeauty.com. And I went ahead and ordered it on online and uh, I'm going to review this foundation for you guys today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Keep on watching. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my oil-free primer onto my skin. I'm using the Laura Mercier Oil Free Primer. This primer is absolutely amazing for oily skin. And you guys can see, I already went ahead and did my eyes because this video is focused mainly on just the Huda Beauty foundation. I'll be using the Cinnamon 440G. Let's go ahead and try this out the first time. Let's see what the rave is all about. I'm just gonna go ahead and let me right into my skin. Okay, I love it. I like the fact it has like that nice warm tone. And the warm tone is pretty much very warm I like the coverage so you guys can see I think when it dries down it's gonna um, show more Hmm. What do you guys think? I mean, compared to my neck, I think it's pretty, pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and apply some right onto my forehead. Just blend that in. Mmm, I like, I really like this. I love the way it makes my, oops, bring the wig back up. I really love the way it makes my skin looks. It looks very matte, it's good. It's really good for oily skin and it looks pretty good. And this, like it dries, like it dries very nicely and it goes really well with my skin. I was a little bit nervous about that i like it i really like it i'm happy that i actually chose this shade and up next i'm going to go ahead and conceal and contour i'm wow. using the shape tip concealer in medium Just 
just spray my sponge first. I'm going to use the foundation side of the sponge and just blend right underneath it to kind of blend out any harsh lines. There you go. Then just pretty much dab a little bit right on top of my concealer that doesn't stand out too much my face I'll be using the Colourpop no filter concealer and I'll be using it in the shade rich tan go ahead and apply that right there and right on my nose And just a little bit on my forehead. Then right there, right on my jawline. It's gonna suck everything in. Just make it look snatched. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that with my sponge. And to set my concealer, I'll be using Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Get a little bit right on the cover. Just use it to set my eyes. Then I'm going to set my get it all snatched up. Yeah, baby. By the way, guys, I have Huda Beauty Desert Dusk right on my eyes. Now I'll be using my NYX matte bronzer to set my contour. Just gonna go ahead and just brush that in. Get that cheekbone popping I'm gonna get like a more precise brush and just Then I'm just gonna dust this off. Now, so I'm gonna go back and just snatch the side of my face. I'm using the translucent powder and just clean that in. And just brush that off. This foundation is really nice. Like, the more it stays on my face, the more nicer it gets. I don't even need the powder over my foundation. Usually, I put the powder over my foundation, but this is really nice. 
my blush I'll be using NARS Orgasm and I'm just gonna apply that right onto my cheekbones I love this because it's very soft it doesn't scream blush here I am blush here I am it's just a nice soft everyday blush pretty much and it has like a nice glow to it which is great so since I'm going with the with the bold eyes I just want to do something very soft on my cheeks so next I'm going to go ahead and set my set my face with my setting spray I use my setting spray just to set that up I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eyes and the rest of my face and I'll be right back so guys there you have it this foundation is really really nice it's great for oily skin if you're oily skin and you want something very matte this is the foundation that you need to have I've had this on now for a few minutes and I love it so far this foundation really really like dries up really well and it looks very flawless on and I love the way like it makes my skin look and I love the glow that it has coming through it I did not use any powder whatsoever right on top of the foundation I pretty much just set it with my setting spray and that was it and it looks really really amazing this foundation is a go-to foundation really great matte oily skin check um, full coverage really good for oily skin so thanks guys for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to my channel down below bye